What's going on, guys? I'm back with another episode of TV and Movie Podcast, and today I got for you Big Brother 25, episode 23. This episode was crazy. Oh my gosh, bro. The double eviction was crazy. They give us a little flashback of it, see what happened that we missed on Thursday. Um, we see that Corey asked Blue, yo, how you feel about going on the block? And Blue's like, hey, I'd rather be Sari and Jared. And Corey's like, hey, if you put up, if, uh, would you would you take if you want veto would you uh take jared off the block and blue's like nah i leave it the same and corey runs to jag matt in america he tells him hey i'm about to put up blue and jared on the block and that's what he does and then blue's like damn <laughs> you just told me you wasn't gonna put me on the block well, what the hell anyway but blue knows that jared's a target so she's like better him than me but this is what happens. Jared tells Matt, or Jared picks Matt for veto, and Matt wins the veto. And Matt, you know, you know what Matt does, but we didn't get to see the conversations before the decision that Matt makes. And Matt tells Blue, yo, I got to keep it the same. I'm sorry. And uh, she, she's pissed off, but she's like, I understand. I get it. And then Matt lies to Jared and tells Jared, hey, Jared. I got you, bro. And Jared's feeling good. Like, yeah, I pitch you for veto. You want to use it on me? That's tight. But then we get to the veto ceremony. And Matt doesn't use the veto on Jared. He keeps it the same. And Jared's like, ah, I got played. <laughs> Siri's like, damn. At least we got the votes. Because she's thinking she's got Mimi's vote. She's thinking she's got... You know, Felicia's vote, all she needs is Bowie's vote to flip it. And she's talking to Bowie, telling Bowie, hey, I think we could, We just need your vote. And then Bowie's all confused, like, what you mean you got my vote? What you mean you have the votes? Like, she's Bowie's talking to Jag, Matt, in America, and Corey. She's like, the plan is still to get rid of Jared, right? And they're like, yeah, like, that's the plan. And then Bowie goes and tells Sari, Sari... I don't think you have the votes. Oh, <clears throat> that's a, that's the wrong accent. Suri, I, I don't think you have the votes. And Suri's like, what do you mean? I got I got Felicia's vote. I got I got Mimi's vote. And and then and Suri talks to Mimi and Felicia like, you guys are voting now blue, right? And they're like all quiet. And Suri's like, she she kind of picks up on their energy. She's like, oh. This isn't good. They decided a long time ago that they weren't going to vote, you know, to keep Jared. Like, they had this plan. And she's like, damn. And that's exactly what happens. Six to one vote. Sayonara, Jared. But wait, there's more. We see a parcel comes down from a tube. And ironically, Sari gets to read it and she reads it and she starts laughing like you couldn't make this up, man. Maybe production told her about the parcel coming through because that's just TV gold. The way Sari was just laughing at the, the letter that she's reading saying there's a chance that the two nominees that were voted out get to come back. And she's just laughing and, she, and nobody knows what she's about to say. But the anticipation was crazy. And then she finally reads it and everybody's like, uh-oh. And then we hear a doorbell ring. Cameron and Jared pull up back in the house. Just like that, five minutes later after being voted out, wearing different clothes, zombie costumes. And then everybody's like, oh, 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 yo. They're, they're all devastated. They, they, they don't know what to do. They're like, damn, we just got rid of these people. America's face says it all, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, um, then obviously, you know, people aren't, aren't happy right now, especially Felicia. And Jared's pissed off about being voted out by his alliance members. He, they, they're all talking in a room. And Sari, Mimi, Felicia, Jared's there. And Jared kind of confronts Felicia like, yo, what's the deal, Felicia? I thought I thought we were good, and then Felicia's like, "Yo, I thought we was good last week. You, you weren't you and weren't you and Sari trying to get rid of me last week? What was up with that? I was just I was just giving you guys the the taste of your own medicine." And Jared's like, "Damn, Mama Felicia, I, I don't know. I thought we had that final two. And Felicia's like, "What what final two? You don't remember that final two we made outside that you you threw Sari under the bus 
and then you try to and and then you try to pull me into a final two. You say well, you rather have a final two with me than Sari. And the Felicia acts oblivious. She's like, well, I don't know what you're talking about. And Jared's like, Oh, now you don't know what I'm talking about. That oh. So you know, Mama Felicia, we see her. You know, playing the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna call her a liar. I'm just saying she's playing the game. You know what I'm saying? But hey, that's just how the game goes. But listen, we see that. Uh, we see that uh, Jared. Oh, no, no, no. We see that Matt apologizes to Sari. And uh, Matt seems very genuine about it. And Sari forgives him. And Sari even says, yo, if Matt's playing me, like, you know, give him the serpent title from me. And, you know, I, I don't think Matt's playing Sari. Like, he's just doing what he's told. Like, he's a he's a sheep. You know, he's not really calling any shots in his alliance. But he's being a good team player. And he actually feels bad about, you know, lying to Sari. He's not no serpent. He's not no serpent. He's not no snake. And then um, we see that, yo, Corey tells Matt, Jag, in America, he's like, yo, if uh, if Cameron were to come back, that'd be better for us because Jared has numbers he could pull in on the other side of the house. Cameron can't go back to the other side of the house. So we rather, we want Cameron to stay, right? And then Jared talks to Blue, pulls her aside. He's like, you knew this whole time, didn't you? And Blue's like, <sighs> I, I did, and Jared's like, all you had, all you had to do was just let me know, and, and that's all I, all you had to do was just let me know, and I, and Blue's like, yeah, but you withheld information from me before, and Jared's like, damn, Blue, damn, damn, but we all know they made up later on, but listen, um, uh, then we get to the competition, the competition of this is the first part of the competition. They have three rounds. They get to balance on a balance beam, and they have to drop balls onto a shovel. And the person that has the most the most balls balanced on the balance beam wins the competition. But there's three rounds, and in the first round, Cameron, Jared, Ty, seven seven, and they don't know really how to work it right because they they're just rushing. Mainly Jared is rushing, and we see that happen, especially in the second round. And so Cameron gets a piece of advice from Jag, basically saying, hey, you're wasting a lot of time trying to see if the balls fall from the platform. Like, you, it's going to fall regardless. Just, just keep on moving, and you, you can save like two to three seconds that way. And Cameron's like, all right, bet. And then we get to round two. And while Cameron's taking his time, he's saying, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Jared is going fast, and that is not smooth, and he is just losing all of his balls. So, it's 9, Jared, Cameron, 13. Cameron wins round 2. In round 3, we don't get a winner. They leave us on a cliffhanger. Damn, bro. They leave us on a cliffhanger. I hate cliffhangers, but that's how they pull you in. I can't wait till Thursday because... Wednesday, we watching Survivor, an amazing race. Hey, yeah, that's right. We're going to be reacting to Survivor, an amazing race, giving you guys that those videos probably Thursday because, you know, I don't, I'm going to be too tired to upload those after this episode. But, hey, three new shows. It's going to be crazy, bro. I can't wait. But yeah, this has been a TV and movie podcast. Thank you for listening and watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bless up and peace.